Welcome back to our channel. In this particular video, under Management and Governance series, we are going to discuss about Azure Mobile App. So Azure Mobile App is going to be a very, very powerful option when it comes to managing Azure resources. So you can manage Azure resources anywhere, anytime. If you are uh, even outside roaming, uh, you just need the mobile to manage and perform any kind of activities on Azure uh, platform. So we are going to see a complete use case and as well as a demo for that particular use case on what are the different options we have within your mobile app. So before we get into the demo, so we will also discuss what exactly Azure mobile app uh, tool is useful for and we will also see what are the prerequisites that we need to have in our mobile to install this application. What are the different use cases uh, that are uh, suitable for this? And uh, finally, we'll also see the scenarios where we can use uh, the Azure mobile application. So Azure mobile application for prerequisite, you need a mobile device or it can be a iPad or iPhone or even an Android mobile uh, phone. So you can install this Azure mobile application on Google Play or you can download it from App Store and install it on your Apple phones. Um, so this um, application, it is, having a prerequisite of iOS version 11 on your uh, uh, App Store and uh, you need to have Android version 6 on your uh, Google Play uh, uh, to, to have this particular mobile application installed. So you can directly download it from uh, Google Play or App Store uh, based on your mobile device uh, operating system. So the application supports multiple languages and mostly we might be using the English language for managing uh, using the application for managing the Azure resources. So the app is optimized for iOS and Android smartphone, but it can also work in your uh, iPad or tablets uh, if in case you want to use it. So you have to use the Azure account to log into your uh, uh, mobile app. I'll show you the demo. And mostly like uh, the three major powerful options that we come across using Azure mobile app is to monitor and get alerts if in case of any uh, issues with your resources or if there are any planned maintenance or service health issues so you can be notified of uh, any health issues or status update uh, of your azure resources as well as your azure platform and you can also quickly go and find out uh, what's going on in your environment you can check the activity log you can go and look at the azure monitor metrics uh, logs and you can quickly uh, respond to any alert you can restart all the services uh, web application or you can connect to a mobile i mean you can connect to a virtual machine so you can take remote from your mobile and most importantly you can get complete feature of azure cloud shell you can work on pass shell or you can work on powershell if you are uh, um, I mean, whatever the uh, shell platform that you're familiar with. So you can also persist the files across uh, different interfaces. You can connect it from your mobile app and you can watch parallelly on your Azure portal if you are connected to a laptop. So it, it is providing a seamless experience. You can triage with your teams. So you can go and resolve certain issues uh, or under your alert. So whatever you are working and resolving, the other team member will get uh, the update very quickly. So that's what I called it as triaging with uh, the team members and uh, and then uh, you can um, also have uh, a very powerful experience from your mobile to manage all the Azure resources anytime, anywhere you want. And it is very fast and mobile friendly and you get a very quick access. See, some of you might have a doubt. Uh, see, even in my mobile, you might have a web browser like Google Chrome or uh, Safari or uh, whatever based on your operating system. You might have different web browser. You can definitely log into Azure portal via your web browser, but that is going to be very uh, uh, slow and then uh, it, it might have to be, uh, I mean, you will get a different view and experience if you are going for a web browser based Azure portal. But then Azure mobile app is uh, purpose built for accessing the Azure platform from your mobile. It, it uh, gives you complete access to all the resources. There is no such uh, limitation there. And uh, that to add the convenience of your mobile phone. You can continuously uh, access it anywhere, anytime, wherever you have some internet connection. You can just keep making configuration uh, while you have a walk outside, or you can just quickly. Uh, check uh, what's happening in your environment. It, it gives the full power of Cloud Shell experience. So whatever scripting or uh, uh, automation that you want to do, or if you want to manage the entire environment from the command line using Azure CLI or Azure PowerShell or Bash Shell, 
you just get complete full access so we'll see um, how it works and how we can uh, install it uh, on your uh, google play store and then uh, how you can um, uh, make use of the features options available right let's go and uh, um, explore it so you can just log into your mobile go to your google play and then uh, just search for azure mobile app and then uh, once after you search it you can see uh, that this particular application is primarily used for monitoring your azure resources and you can also take quick actions anytime anywhere so I'm just going to install it. It will take a couple of minutes. So similarly, if you want to um, install uh, your uh, 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 mobile app on your iOS, you can also go to your uh, Azure, I mean, app store and get it installed. So once after the tool is installed, you can also uh, do a tour to understand what are the different options available, or you can just skip that and you can directly log into your uh, Azure account. Uh, so you can just go for the tool for the first time. So it tells us like what are the important benefits so you can connect uh, You can stay connected to Azure platform anytime anywhere uh, Wherever you have the internet connection you can monitor the health status You can also get notified if there are any issues going on on your environment So second thing is you can diagnose and uh, fix issues quickly you can uh, go and check the resource health status service health status and you can see whether the vm is uh, running if, if it is having some issues you can go and take the corrective actions to go and make the configuration changes and you can start it so it's a very powerful tool where you can diagnose and fix issues quickly and you can also go and um, update uh, the favorites as per uh, um, the uh, arrangement you want i'll show you how to keep track of the resources and how you can arrange uh, the different options that are available finally like azure cloud shell from your mobile device right you can work on bash shell or powershell and it is very uh, powerful you can do whatever uh, you you can do with your azure portals a complete same experience you will get in your mobile or tablet so now after the tour is complete i'll just show how to log into azure portal or azure uh, mobile app so you can use your account and then uh, So once after you enter it, you can just enter the password or you can just go and send the code to your account. Okay, so I've received the code and then it is 1912771. 1912771. Okay, once after you enter the code, you should be able to log in to your Azure mobile app. So from here, you will see that it gives you beautiful options to manage all the resources and you have options to go and uh, customize your tile view so it it asks us like whether you want to enable the alerting and uh, so you'll get a push notification with azure icon like how you get your sms and other email alerts you'll get a push notification if there is a uh, service health issue or a planned maintenance or if there is any uh, 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 impact to your environment uh, this will create an alert i'll show you uh, how to do the same in your azure portal so you can enable it here from your azure mobile app itself and then uh, you can just mark it done and then you can see that it shows all the azure resources that you are currently accessing and you can just change the tile view you have the option to go and click on this uh, pen icon if you just want to rearrange for example if uh, you are frequently using uh, the cloud shell you can just move that little above or if you are planning to use the service health um, and the alerts uh, you can just move it above and if you want to access some of the resource groups you can just arrange this uh, based on your uh, uh, requirement so if i go back to the home screen now you can see that the rearrangement has happened so i can see azure services azure cloud i mean azure cloud shell and then service health followed by all the other uh, options below right so you can just go and rearrange it anytime you want and uh, you could see that uh, um, it is uh, available uh, for you to access it you can just go and access the resource groups you can go and directly access the documentation active directory privilege identity management and so on so now going back to my console you can just go and access uh, the cloud shell if you want and you can just switch between bash and uh, powershell as you used to do you just have to follow the same step what you used to follow in your azure portal you just have to go and select a subscription select a storage account if you have one you can just go and select an existing one 
and you can just customize it see if you look at the bottom you can see that there is a home option so wherever you are working if you want to come to home you can just click on this and you can access multiple subscriptions here you will be having access to all the subscriptions and you can access all the resources resource groups uh, on whatever you have in your account so you could see the complete list of resource groups that are there and the, the access speed is much faster if you are accessing it through the azure portal you might not get uh, the speed of uh, access that you are seeing now you can also see the current cost that has incurred for each of your resource groups so this is a very beautiful option right so uh, for each of your uh, resource groups it gives you complete view and uh, it tells us like what is the cost incurred at your resource group level and what are the different resources that are there it's very very um, beautiful compare even compared to your azure portal uh, this looks uh, uh, much simplified and much easier to access and there is one more tool that is available if you're accessing it from your laptop or desktop you have azure desktop application that is also uh, equally good and you can just try that okay now coming here you can see that there are uh, a separate option for getting the notifications and uh, if i want to enable it from my portal i can also enable it so if you want to do it from your azure portal okay you can just go to your uh, uh, service health so here uh, what you can do is you can create an alert rule service alert, alert and then you can just uh, select which subscription you want to monitor select the condition which are the events you would like to monitor security advisory health advisory planned maintenance service issue if you want to just monitor a couple of them you can just select and for which of the regions uh, your services are hosted you can select them and you can also select which are the services that you want to monitor and then select this particular option here create an action group and you have to select which particular uh, resource group you want to create this uh, action group you can just give some name stan mobile app stan mobile and then you can just select the push option here this is the second uh, from the drop down you can you, you just have to select the push and on the right you get the option to send it to your azure mobile app notification so whatever uh, service health issues or um, uh, your plan maintenance security issues all those will be notified uh, in, uh, to your mobile and uh, you can just quickly act upon that so you can just go and create it and then uh, you can also do it here or if you want to do it from your mobile app you can just go back to uh, your home menu here go to your uh, settings and then uh, you have the options to go and update your uh, notification here so if you want to enable custom alert you can also go and uh, enable it and change the notifications and preferences all those stuffs can be done in your mobile or you can do it in your azure portal also and you have some more settings billing option uh, you can you have the option to go and get access the health pages health pages you can go and look at the tickets that are available privacy terms and all those stuff so you can also add additional account if you want you have the option to add additional account so you can manage multiple accounts at the same time or in parallel using your azure mobile app so it's a very very useful tool uh, go and check the options that are available you can just customize uh, the view you can change uh, the important options that you want to have here so you can also manage whatever you want for example if you have a disk here you can see that it gives you uh, a lot of options it tells us like uh, what are the activities who are happening what subscription it is part of and then now uh, who has the access whether it is attached to a virtual machine or not which location so all these options are available even you can get a json view and you can copy this and then you can create a template out of it to create uh, a similar resource again so it, it's like uh, a very superb option you can also go and look at more properties here you can see uh, additional details if in case you want to find out who created it what time and what is the status so all these stuffs are readily available and even um, uh, you have the options to go and um, move resources and so on so explore the tool it is very powerful and if you have a apple mobile then you can install it from your uh, app store if you have an android mobile you can just go and install it from your uh, uh, google play yeah this is what i thought of covering thank you for listening and we will catch up in the next session